Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, the global elitist fight back. The empire strikes back. Okay, what we got here, Angela Merkel, the chancellor of Germany, has promised to fight for free trade, she says, and press on with multilateral efforts to combat climate change at the G20 summit next week challenging the America first policies of U.S. President Donald Trump. In a very defiant parliament speech, a week before she is going to host the summit of one of the world's top economic powers, the G20 summit in Hamburg, Germany, which is, of course, the northern port city where she was born. Merkel did not mention President Donald Trump by name, but said global problems could not be solved with protectionism, or isolationism. In other words, don't come, Trump, don't show up here with your America first doctrine. Don't come in here talking nationalism. She's saying the only way to solve the world's problems is to do it through a global effort. So already we're flawed because she's, before we even look at, well, what are the world's problems? And what caused the world's problems? Angela, why don't you start at home? Start with the European Union. What caused your migrant crisis? Well, first of all, we wouldn't even have a migrant crisis if we didn't have radical Islam running rampant in the Middle East. And we can start that with President Barack Obama, since he's the one that wanted this Arab Spring, along with his sidekick, the Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton. All right, so let's start there. And we wouldn't even have ISIS had we left our uh, at least 10,000, 12,000 protective troops in Afghanistan for a little bit longer. We did not broadcast 14 months in advance we were leaving. And then when we did leave, we didn't leave enough artillery and money and supplies to fund an army, which is exactly what Obama did. But besides all that and calling for the overthrow of five nation leaders in the spring of 2011, that's how ISIS was formed. That's how radical Islam was given fuel injection. But what caused the migrant crisis in Europe is still not that. It's that open-door policy by the EU, this, this open borders and lack of restraint, lack of vetting, allowing the floodgates to flow wide open has created this, uh, this immigration policy has destroyed Europe. So, oh, by the way, so first of all, you need to identify what your problems are. Donald Trump did not create the migrant crisis of Europe. But he may have the answer to how to fix it. And that is lock down the hatchets, stop the bleeding, and take a look at the real problems. Globalism ideology does not fix anything. If anything, I would have a strong argument to say that the global elitists are the problem trying to create this one world government, this new world order. And oh, by the way, a one world religion, which we know is evil. So this is what we're dealing with here. So Angela Merkel, and then she went on to say, in her remarks, uh, she raised the prospect of an open clash with President Trump at the summit. She later met with European G20 leaders who promised to present a united front in Hamburg, Germany, while making clear they preferred compromise to conflict. Quote, these will not be easy talks, Merkel said. The differences are obvious and it it would be wrong to pretend they aren't there. I simply won't do this. And the G20 summit will be held a little over a month after the G7 summit in Sicily exposed deep divisions between the other Western countries and Trump on climate change, trade, and immigration. So folks, they're setting up The world is setting up this global revolt against President Donald Trump. Uh, This is the new world order striking back. The empire is striking back. Keep a close eye on it, folks. If you're a Christian, if you you understand, if you're you're Israel, you should understand quickly that the, the lines are being drawn now. They want to. I, they want America's the problem as long as Trump is in charge, and that's the message. The rest of the world wants to continue to walk in globalism, which is leading us to the new world order. Watch out! The fireworks are going to go off in Hamburg, Germany.
We'll see how Trump handles it. We'll see how they handle it. I'll be back with more. Pray for the, each other. Get your heart right with God. Jesus is coming soon. You can see the beast is about to rise. No wonder we're going to have this sign in the heavens, this uh, Revelation 12 great wonder and another wonder in heaven on September 23rd, 2017. No wonder we're having a solar eclipse. America, be prepared for these signs that are in the heavens. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon.